The NASCAR Camping World Truck Series is presented on speed by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Brought to you in part by Honda Generators, the power of choice. And by Camping World and Good Sam. Everything for the RV lifestyle, including RVs, accessories, warranties, insurance, and roadside assistance. The confetti is flying in victory lane. The first time a Camping World truck has ever pulled into this victory lane, and it's driven by Casey Kane as he climbs out of the truck. Let's go to victory lane. Well, first big victory for Turner Motorsports. The confetti is flying here. And Casey Kane had a good weekend in Texas, but uh, get the Gatorade shower going here. Casey, when you come to these races, obviously with the stats that you've already accomplished, you're expected to win, but how confident were you that you could do it from the back today? I wasn't sure. I knew, uh, I knew I'd have a good truck. Brad Sweet qualified fifth. Uh, all the guys at Turner Motorsports uh, put a couple really good days in, and it sounded like the truck was fast. So, uh, SC Chevrolet, and um, man, I was just I was coming up through there, and I was loose and loose, and uh, we we adjusted that first time and got it better, and then the second time we kind of doubled up and uh, and got it really good, especially those last couple laps. So. They're, they're saying, how about your helper here, huh? Yeah. Th thanks to. Uh, Thanks to Steve Turner for giving uh, myself and Brad Sweet an opportunity to do this. James Bush was right there, too. Uh, so this is a big win for everybody at Turner Motorsports, and uh, feels good to come back to the Rock and get a win. Uh, any more races on the schedule for this year? Not yet, but uh, before the race, Steve said if we want to do more, he's, he's up for it later in the year. I have a feeling they may do that, guys. Casey Kane in victory lane as the trucks come to the Rock. Hermie? Well, Nelson Piquet, if they gave the award for the driver that passed the most trucks, you would get that easily. But tell us about the speeding penalty to put you to the back of the pack at the end of the race. Did you know where you were speeding, or how did you uh, think, get the news to you? Well, they told me, obviously, but uh, I, I knew I was going to be in the limits. I had to try to gain a position and get back to the lead uh, for the start of the race. And uh, obviously, I went a bit too much. But uh, I mean, it's, it happens. I mean, I'm new here, and uh, I'm still going to learn. I'm still going to do these little mistakes. And you know, then I had to work myself back up, which is a good learning curve. You know, It showed that I know how to work myself up in the grid without putting my truck in danger compared to last year I was having a few incidents a bit too much when I was doing the same thing. Talk about racing at this racetrack obviously first time a lot of people have been here including you to have the kind of truck you had how do you compare racing here to some of the other racetracks you've been on this year and last year? Well, I think the good thing about Rockingham is that the tires fall off and you have to drive you have to race these trucks uh, a lot in the whole race you're on the edge and uh, I think that's what makes a real race. Uh, I'm really happy. It it's, has been a great race. It's a great racetrack, and I wish you had more of these. That's Nelson P.K. Jr. He battles back to finish seventh. Yeah, Hermie, 107 laps led by Nelson P.K. Jr. A speeding penalty coming off of Pitt Road. It took him out of contention of winning here at the Rock. The trophy goes to Casey Kane. Confetti in the air and a big smile on his face. in the air and the subway 400 is underway. Man behind you, man behind you. Go south, go south. All clear, clear all the way. Stenton with a hornet's nest in the rear view mirror, but a car length in hand over Casey Kane and Jamie McMurray. Kane is on the move, going for the win at Rockingham. And the line by inches is Matt Kenton. One one hundredth of a second. Casey Kane has now raced twice in NASCAR at the Rock. His average finish, 1.5. In the Camping World Truck Series, his average finish, 1.2. Five starts, four wins for Casey Kane. A Rams guts and glory today definitely goes to that man and what he had to do on the racetrack to get from the back to the front. Well, how about what he had to do to get to the racetrack? He was in Texas last night, ran 500 miles. But you had to be impressed with his pace. He just kind of crept his way to the front. He didn't go charging up through there, but when he got there, needed to make an adjustment on the truck. The team did a great job. Look at that action he had to avoid. The team did a great job of putting the truck where he needed to be at the end, and he drove away from him. Rockingham Speedway, the sights of Casey Kane's fourth win of his career. And for the fourth time, 
James Busher has come home second in the Camping World Truck Series. He is with Hermie. Well, James Busher, you come home second in your first ever race at the Rock. You guys started 16th and kind of methodically made your way to the front. I guess at the end you could smell it, but couldn't do much with the four. Yeah, no, we, we, we definitely uh, had a good truck all weekend. Uh, we unloaded well. Everybody did a good job building this Kawiki Chevy, and, uh, you know, we had a mishap in practice, probably one of the only practice incidents they had to beat defenders back out. And, uh, you know, how about Turner Motorsports? Uh, once we finish at the Rock, is, is pretty cool. And, and coming off the road, we were one, two, three, and, and Nelson was speeding there. So, uh, you know, we weren't, you know, we were top five truck all day long, and we made some adjustments at the end that got us better. And I think we were a second place truck at the end, but, uh, you know, after that restart, you could just see him slowly pulling away, pulling away. But, uh, you know, better better Casey being a teammate and win the race than anybody. So uh, if I had to lose, lose to him is all right. That's James Butcher. He comes on second to complete a one-two sweep for Turner Motorsports. Sports. Hey, Turner, let's take a look at the unofficial results here. Casey Kane once again gets the victory. Two Chevrolets up top and then three Toyotas in the top five. Yeah, two Thor Sport trucks. Matt Kraft and Johnny Sauter finished third and fourth. And how about Joey Colty? You talked about in the beginning of the show how consistent top ten just about half the time. Another top ten here. Also, Justin Lofton, another top 10 finish strong run. Jeb Burton, I love what that young man did today. And if you think about Tim George, Kale Gale, those guys slipped and slid, but they got home in the top 20. Speaking of slipping and sliding, a lot of these guys, Jason White, one of them, finishes up 24th in this one, and they had a wild ride today. There's our point leader, John King, back there in 33rd. It's going to drop him out of the point lead. Top 09 with trouble, finishes 31st. Celebration continuing in victory lane. Casey Kane, after the long trip from Texas, makes it to victory lane this weekend. Welcome back. Celebration continuing from victory lane. The Good Sam Roadside Assistance 200 presented by Ram. On speed, won by Casey Kane. Johnny Sauter. Moving up after needing something to happen for his points quest here in the Camping World Truck Series, finishes in the fourth position. He's with Hermie. Johnny Sauter, you end up fourth, but that doesn't tell the whole story of your day. You guys were on either side of it set up wise. Had to come back to pit road a second time and battled your way back to fourth. Tell us how you got all that done. Yeah, you know, just uh, proud of everybody at Thor Sport, first and foremost. Uh, so cool to be back at the Rock. I hope the fans enjoyed this. This was so much fun. Um, I feel like this is the right race, and race it needs to be. Uh, puts it in the driver's hands, and I feel like, you know, you, you can actually make something happen. So, um, you know, just proud of everybody on this Hot Honeys Curb Records Toyota. We, uh, you know, we battled all weekend long in practice, just couldn't get it right, and, and uh, we made it really good there that second to last run and had a little problem on pit road and, and uh, just lost a lot of track position, but uh, we were able to get a lot of it back and, and get our first top five of the year. So um, we've had top five trucks every week, and, and to finally get one, uh, to finish one the way we should have is, was cool, and uh, my wife and little boy were here, so um, little Pagey's at home. So uh, all in all, we'll be home in a couple hours and, and get ready to go to Kansas. That's Johnny Sauter. He comes home fourth. Thanks, Army. NASCAR back at the Rock. Take a look at the point standings after three races. Timothy Peters now in the lead. He's got a six-point lead over Justin Lofton. Yeah, solid season thus far for Justin Lofton. Ty Dillon, his rookie year here, up in third in points. And, and you know Busher's going to be a contender. He's in fourth. Yeah, and outside the top ten, you got those store sports trucks. But uh, both Matt Crafton and Johnny Sauter crept their way up inside the top 15 now and look for them to keep continuing to press up toward the top of the standings. First race at the Rock, guys, and it's Casey Kane who gets the win. Obviously, a, a very impressive career finish, but what a great show they put on. It really was. I mean, just the, just the whole weekend was such a great effort. You, you know, uh, we talked earlier, all the smiles in the garage area. It was it was just awesome being here back at the Rock. It was definitely well worth coming from Texas to see for me, and I know it was for Casey Kane as well. A one-mile racetrack here at the Rock, an extremely difficult track to try to tame. Next week, we go to the mile and a half Kansas Speedway, where the Camping World Truck Series continues their quest to find the 2012 Camping World Truck Series champion. Thanks for joining us here. After us, right here on Speed, it is the Grand Prix of China. So stay here, the F1 race.